What's up, YouTube? It's Tobo Trail, Smoke on the Water. Smoking my Missouri Meerschaum freehand. Smoking uh, some chocolate cream. Gonna do a little, uh, little kind of review on Missouri Meerschaum pipes. A lot of people have them, and there's several reviews on, online about them, but I'm gonna put my two cents in anyway. First, I'll uh, start by showing you which ones I have, at least which ones I have with me. Uh, two of them, I'm not real sure on the name, so forgive me if I get them wrong. And uh, I'll tell you what my thoughts are on them. And uh, I've, every one I have with me, I've customized in one way or another. And I'll let you know that how I, how I, what all I've done to them and how it turned out. So, uh, without further ado. I'll show you my Missouri Mushrooms. All right, one last side note. Uh, as you see, I put the uh, freehand stem into this bent country gentleman. Uh, fits perfect, doesn't twist around, not loose, not gonna come out of there at all. Uh, yeah, it fits great, so I may start trying to uh, pick on this stem and switch it around I know Scott at Missouri Meerschaum said that he could, uh, I think he sells these uh, stems for eight bucks a piece. So, like you said, you could go to Walker Briar Works or other places, nothing against them. I'm sure they make fantastic stuff. They even got the little brass dots and all that kind of stuff in it. It's nice, but 26, 28 bucks for a stem. It's like anything else, it's a luxury, and I'm sure their stems are super nice. Uh, these stems, these Vulcanite, uh, Freehand stems, like I said, the, the, the Vulcanite's not the best. Uh, you know, they get a little uh, colored up really quick. Doesn't have a really good wax job on them. All that being said, it fits perfect. It's fantastic. It's going to give you the smoking experience that you're looking for for eight bucks. If you just have to have a Vulcanite stem, you can go with a Missouri Meerschaum one and save you a pile of money. Because you could buy a stem for three pipes for what you would pay for one custom stem and you don't have to wait and of course obviously it will be bent more than this one but cigarette lighter in five minutes uh, will take care of that so this is a Tobo Trail and uh, smoke on the water all right I'll show you my little uh, collection of Missouri Meerschaums uh, first one is uh, my freehand you see it doesn't fit in my pipe holder so found a kind of a clever way to just kind of sets right down in there like that, real nice. Uh, the filters I use, uh, Dr. Gravo's and Medico's, uh, no preference, are basically the same, just whichever ones you can find. I got a big giant box of the Medico's, a big old case of them at a local tobacco store for six bucks, and those should last me a year or better, you know, so they're very inexpensive. Uh, then these pipes I have, uh, I believe this is the, uh, I believe it's the Legend, you know, or the Washington, not positive about it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the Legend, so if I get it wrong, don't, uh, don't get mad at me. But uh, it really doesn't say on the packaging when you purchase those, uh, you know, you just kind of guess. And then obviously I have uh, two uh, country gentlemen, sorry about the shaky camera work. Uh, this is a bent country gentleman. You see down inside the bowl, well smoked. And the uh, straight. I don't know if that one's clean or not. Huh. Uh, okay, first things first. Uh, questions about the uh, people, questions people have about Missouri Meerschaums. Uh, freehand uh, is uh, the. Uh, by far the most expensive corn cob that Missouri Meerschaum produces. You can get it on a plaque. Uh, I've got several briars that cost $100 plus that don't smoke even a quarter as well as this one. You know, uh, this pipe smokes fantastic. I can't say enough about it. Uh, I, I saw some videos online about it. You know, and it has a lot of hype behind it, and uh, you know it's all true. You know, it's all true. The uh, 
vulcanite stems kind of gnarly when I got it it was already you know already getting uh, kind of uh, oxidized looking kind of funky I've, I've waxed it and stuff but I don't have a polisher so uh, it, it looks a lot better than it did when I bought it actually it was already turning yellow I found it at a tobacconist um, basically a cigarette shop uh, in uh, Hattiesburg Mississippi and they had it on sale for like 40 bucks I talked them down to 35 which is more you know you can get it cheaper online but it's it's well worth it I'm very happy with the purchase uh, the stem, the vulcanite stem has a very extreme bend when you get it and cause the pipe to hang sort of like this out of your mouth and the top right here would get really really hot and it started you know making me uh, a little concerned about the longevity of the pipe because uh, the Missouri Meerschaums from what I understand if, if they do have a weak spot it's usually around the stem on the hardwood plugged ones, you're not going to burn through the hardwood plug. If you have a burnout, it'll be where the uh, where the stem enters the bowl. So, because it tilted like that, it, it seemed like it was putting a lot of heat right there. So, you know that that I didn't like that. I didn't like the way it, it seemed like it didn't burn as well. You know, if I held it straight up, it would do better. But I'd have to hold it against the natural bend. So what I did was I took a cigarette lighter and I slowly, slowly you know, I put a pipe cleaner in the bit. I slowly rotated it until it got soft and I straightened it out. It still has a very, very, very slight bend in it, but uh, you know, it turned out really well. So uh, I'm very happy with that. Actually, I just did that tonight. In this first bowl I've smoked in it since then. And uh, you know, very happy with that, uh, that little uh, procedure. So, uh, you know, if you, you know, don't be scared to uh, to, to fool with it. Uh, it's a non-filtered pipe. It's, you know, the, one of the Missouri Meerschaums that, are, that you can't, it does not take a filter. Although I will say this, I tried it before I messed with the stem, just in case I messed it up. These bits will fit inside of it. They will not fit all the way. They will not fit flush, but they will fit in it tight enough where they, they will not uh, pull any air around the sides. Uh, they have like a quarter inch, uh, eighth inch gap where uh, they won't push all the way in and they will not take a filter but they will fit in it so if uh, worst case scenario I would have had to smoke it with one of my bits off of my other pipes uh, I would have been able to also I have tried it with uh, a Nording freehand style vulcanite stem and it does also work uh, it fits it's basically the same uh, the Nording stems are a little higher quality they have a you know a little bit better waxing job on them uh, vulcanite's basically vulcanite I guess but uh maybe not but uh, they uh, you know they don't they don't uh, oxidize as bad uh, the only other thing that I've done to this particular pipe is I put a softy bit on it I really prefer softy bits they they really uh, to me make smoking a pipe any pipe much more pleasurable uh, I, uh, I do use filters in the filtered pipes uh, I found that it uh, really uh, helps with a uh, pipe verbal uh, it, uh, it really uh, keeps down the uh, trash and stuff that you uh, can get through some of these straight stem pipes I was finding when smoking them without a filter you would suck uh, little bits of tobacco down through the stem and get it in your mouth and uh, just a, just a little nasty experience there so I tried it smoking it with a couple of the uh, paper filters uh, you know, I took them out right at first because I saw everybody online said they smoked it without them. But I, uh, I tried it with uh, the paper filters, and, and I, I like it. I can do it without it; it's not a problem. But uh, but I, I prefer it with it. They're so cheap. You know, they don't filter the smoke. They don't change the flavor whatsoever. Basically, all they do is keep liquid from coming. Uh, they they dry the smoke slightly if it's real steamy and moist aromatic. It, it takes some of the moisture out. And if you uh, have any spit coming down, you know, people don't like to say spit, but if you have any uh, spit coming down the stem, uh, it keeps it out of your tobacco. Uh, you know, it, uh, it, it catches it on the other end of the paper. So it, it makes for a nicer, cooler, drier smoke, just like they say. So, you know, I, I, I do like that. Uh, I customize these stems. The softy bits won't fit on them. 
they uh, they they slop around. You can smoke them with a you know like that, but if you don't bite it just right, you get air flow around between the bit, softy bit, and the uh, the little plastic Missouri Meerschaum bit. So what I did was I just took uh, some electrical tape. I don't know, right? I just took some electrical tape and I tried to do it as cleanly as possible, and it turned out pretty good. And you can't even see it there, and uh, and just kind of built up the stem a little bit, and then put my softy bit on top of that, so it's a nice snug fit, and uh, it added a lot more cushion actually, and uh, it's really, really comfortable to bite now. And I've did that to all of them. I guess it's a little more apparent on this one, on this amber bit stem. You can really tell. Sorry about the focus there, if I can get it to focus. You can really tell that, you know, that it, it is electrical tape. It don't really look like it. it, just looks, if you just glance at it, it looks like the softy bits are just long. Uh, as far as the drugstore pipes, uh, let's see, first where I purchased it. I purchased this one at a tobacco store that they just had in the case. They had that and a couple other ones thrown in. They wouldn't really sell them as very They just they had about three or four of them. This was the only freehand they had. The rest of them were, uh, you know, like the uh, the drugstore ones. These country gentlemen, uh, the bent and the straight, I bought from Boswell's with my order. You know, I, I asked them on the phone if they had them. They said that's, that they had a few, so I got those. This one I bought at the Tender Box in Mobile, Alabama. And this one I bought at a CVS far pharmacy in Hurley, Mississippi. Uh, I will, they're all lacquered, I mean, excuse me, all plastered. These two don't really have the, 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 the finish on them like the, the, uh, the country gentleman or the freehand. And I will, I will say that the country gentleman and the freehand with this lacquer finish on it, in my opinion, they smoke way better. This lacquer on the top keeps the, the, the rim from catching on fire. I have another pipe that I don't have with me that is basically ruined. When I was smoking a, 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 a burly cake, classic burly cake from Pipes and Cigars, that stuff burns really, really hot. It tastes good, but it burns very hot, and it caught the rim on fire. It's actually a pipe that's just like this one, except it's a, it's not a bent. It's a straight and this whole top caught on fire. I blew it out fairly quickly, but it really put a deep, nasty scorch on it, and you can taste it. I've done everything I can to it to try to get it out. It's The bowl started to split and everything, and I, you know, that's my fault, you know, for, uh, you know, a rookie mistake and, 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 and putting too much flame to it and not trying to light it slow. Uh, so. You know, if you if you try, you can mess up any pipe, briars included. But uh, you know, I, I actually caught these on fire. Now with the country gentleman, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Definitely not with the freehand. It's got a nice heavy uh, lacquer on it, and uh, it even has a coating inside the bowl of, of these pipes. The uh, country gentleman and the freehand have a coating inside the bowl. The natural, more these are plastered. As I said, they're not the natural. They do, they do come plastered, but they don't have any in, interior bowl coating when you get them. Uh, these are great until you try these. Once you try these, you, you you find yourself you don't you don't find yourself smoking these anymore. Very rarely do I smoke these. I only smoke these when I want a really quick smoke. These hold more uh, tuned to what a briar will hold talking about a 30 to a 45 minute smoke depending on how tight you pack it. You can pack a corn cob much tighter than you can pack a briar because of the way it, it operates. Uh, you know sometimes you do get just a shave more dottle because I stop smoking it when it gets down to the wood stem before it starts giving you a little bitter uh, wood taste. After you uh, smoke them several times you uh, you won't get that any longer. Uh, now to longevity. Everybody always wonders about longevity. You see the bowl is, is coated on the inside. It's dirty right now, obviously it's still got tobacco in it, but uh it uh you know there's no cake or anything. That stuff there is just, just ash for me smoking just now. You can still see the kernel rows 
uh, this pipe is holding up very well. I've smoked that particular freehand probably a dozen times. Uh, these country gentlemen, I've smoked these probably 12 to 15 times a piece. Okay, you can still get her to focus there. Okay, you can see the shank. You know, people say that the shank burns out after three to four smokes. Well, I've smoked these, you know, a dozen times at least. And you can see for yourself, uh, you know, the shank is still there. And uh, don't really have any kind of cake build up. It's, uh, they perform, they perform, it's performing very well. Uh, if you take care of these pipes, this, you know, like you take care of your briars, they will last. You know, these pipes, even the country gentlemen, these pipes cost nine dollars, you know, and they smoke fantastic. Uh, these were just as expensive because the grocery stores and the drug stores, rather, mark them up. These are far superior. Uh, so, if you're concerned about longevity, first of all, it's a nine dollar pipe. But I think you could smoke these pipes, theoretically, I really think you could smoke these pipes hundreds of times without having any problems because I'm not seeing any additional wear after the break-in, you know, any more than you would on a briar. Uh, the scorch marks and stuff on the top is on the lacquer, and that would actually clean up, you know, if I took the time to do it. Uh, so, you know, if you're worried about longevity with a, with a corn cob, you know, don't. They, they are, they're They're fantastic. I uh, haven't ordered anything from Scott at Aristocob yet, a fellow YouTuber, but uh, he, he's been out of stock for a, a while because of the drought. But he just posted a video a couple days ago. He's got a big order coming in, so I plan on ordering a uh, all of my corn cobs through him uh, in the future, you know, unless I just run up on them, you know, to support to support uh, a fellow YouTuber. And also his prices are better than even if you buy them from Missouri Meerschaum, uh, Aristocob.com, he has... His prices are, are, are very competitive with them, and he also hand inspects them when he gets them above and beyond what Missouri Meerschaum does. So you you know you're going to get a quality pipe if you get them from uh, Scott and Aristocob. Uh, plus, he seems like a really nice guy. So you know definitely uh, recommend. Even though I I personally haven't done business with him yet, I definitely plan to. So if you haven't encountered him yet, check out his channel. He's got a lot of information about corn cob pipes and uh, you know knows you know encyclopedias worth of knowledge on them. but uh, for uh, you know my two cents as a, just a, a user uh, I say yes to the filters uh, definitely yes to the country gentleman and this is his preferred pipe uh, Scott at Missouri Meerschaum he said this is this is the one he prefers and uh, you know I got these by chance it's just what they had and uh, you know and I, I see why he really likes these These are really nice pipes even though they are the stickered ones they don't have a, a hardwood plug uh, like the uh, freehand Let's see if I can do it without dumping the tobacco out of it you know it has a has a hardwood plug inserted into the bottom so to prevent burn through you know all the other pipes have uh, have these little stickers. You take the sticker off you can see the pith. As far as durability other than smoking this pipe I dropped on a epoxy coated steel floor while it was full of tobacco while I was smoking it. It was hot and I can't find any nicks, dings, or scratches on anywhere on it. Uh, you know I looked at it very well I couldn't find any flaws with it. You know, I thought I had busted it because you know it was hot everything else shot fire everywhere uh, didn't didn't harm the pipe whatsoever uh, the only complaint that I have about Missouri Meerschaums is not really a complaint it's it's how they have to be basically to keep the price where it's at is the same thing everybody else says is the stems uh, and but they have people that make custom stems uh, Scott at Missouri Meerschaum you know he uh, says that you can actually buy the stems for the freehand will now fit the regular pipes. Uh, I'm not sure if that's true, and I'll try it here in just a second. But on that on that note, I'm not sure if this is the old style or the new style. This one may have been sitting in that display case for five years, for all I know. I have no idea. So uh, you know, not sure. Even if it doesn't fit, that won't really tell anybody anything. Uh, 
other than that, that's basically uh, you know all I uh, all I have on these uh, Missouri Meerschaums. You know, but like I said, they they're they're holding up very well. I don't even think I cleaned this one, but uh, you can see the see the bit in there and see all the way to the bottom. There's no premature burn through any signs of any anything going on down there that's not supposed to be. Uh, they do very well. So if you get a chance to pick up some, they're an economical pipe. They smoke cool, and uh, you know I love my briars that I have. But uh, uh, and quite honestly, uh, you know out of my Nordings and things, these these smoke better, especially for aromatics. Uh, my English blend, blends, I do like briars better. I don't know why. Uh, just uh, the English brand seem to do better in a briar, and it's hard to find anything to beat a Savinelli 320. That's a fantastic pipe. Can't say enough about it. But uh, you know, it's you know, you come right down to cost and smoking ability. Uh, even against the freehand, just smokes fantastic. But this is a thirty-something dollar pipe. You you're gonna find it very difficult to beat a country gentleman, on, you know, nine dollar pipe you're going to find it nearly impossible to find a pipe that smokes better and will last longer and, and, and serve you more, uh, you know, make you have more enjoyment than this pipe. So that's my two cents on it. And this is uh, Tobo Trail. Smoke on the water.